Okie dokie. What is up, everybody? I think I got the GPS thing going okay now. It is, wow, really awful out here. <laughs> it's uh, January 21st, or February 21st, 2023. In the Big Bear area. Let me just uh, clear this windshield off a little bit, see if it even gets any better. I mean, that's, that's as good as it's gonna, guys, that's how nasty it is out here right now. This is great. So we are, as you can see on Big Bear Boulevard, I hope you guys can tell. We're gonna drive through Baldwin and then come back around where Highway 18 enters Big Bear from the backside. It's 33 degrees. We are getting more, more, more of the snowfall mixed in. So this is awesome sauce. Just for giggles, we're gonna do that real quickly. Yeah, this is this is nutty, guys. This could this could be the biggest, the, like the second or third third biggest storm of the century in in Big Bear if this actually pans out. I did my research, so if all the numbers they're talking about pan out, this this is gonna be one for the record books. I'm very excited about that. Obviously, I'll give you little views of the GPS here because of the temperature thing, but the GPS I'll be putting on the bottom right part of the screen. I wish we could go ahead of this person though. That would be awesome. And once again, guys, I know brights are not good in fog, so I'm, I'm, I'm not an idiot. It just looks cooler on the video. Wow, I couldn't see this turn coming up. This is awesome. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. So we're in Baldwin right now, as you guys can see on the GPS down there to the right, on the bottom right of the screen. camera I can see a lot better than uh, just watching the road So as we keep on doing these GPS videos, we'll be figuring out more how to make it better. The first thing was first was to learn how to do what I'm doing right now. And I did. And over here in Baldwin, it is so windy as usual. Wow, you can't even see anything. This is this makes me happy. If it makes you happy, and it does. Oh, 
where's the road? There it is right there. <laughs> Talk about white knuckle driving, geez. When there's ice and snow, if these if this driving in the clouds continues, that's gonna be very difficult. Get some air up in this. It's a tumbleweed. I thought it was an animal crossing the street. Guys, this is the beginning of something special. This is the beginning of something special. I always forget to ask. If you guys enjoying what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. For those of you who are pretty new to the channel, if you go back just, just over a month and watch the previous seven and a half years, I never asked once for a like or a subscribe, not once. So I think I deserve it. <laughs> I'm driving through this crazy stuff. Help me out. Thanks, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Temperature's still 33 degrees. Can you guys see how fast all this fog is blowing right across the car? And once again, it's not like the marine layer type fog. These are the clouds that all of you are, are looking up at from down the mountain. So we're, we're driving in, in those clouds, which is just so cool. You guys are getting a good glimpse watching this. Oh, the GPS signal's going out a little bit. It's all right, it's all right guys, it'll come back. Just give it a moment. All right, guys, let's hopefully, uh, hopefully the screen will come back. If not, it's because we're in a bad area, but I'm using a phone that doesn't have service, which means that I'm gonna have to start using my regular phone to do the, the GPS, which is fine, we're still learning, but hopefully this will come back. Just give it a little bit of time. Now we're on Highway 18. If we would have turned right back there, we would be heading down to Lucerne Valley and Apple Valley. Oh my gosh. Just epic, guys. As I said, I know it's a lot harder to drive with, the, with your brights on in the fog. I mean, I'm telling you, this is, this is difficult. This is difficult. But I'm just staring at the center line trying to do the best I can. Oh my gosh. This is one of the scariest drives I've ever been on, guys. This is ridiculous. I don't think we, we necessarily need the brights, huh? It'll, it'll help me out a little bit, guys. Yes, 
bus is still taking its sweet time to come back. It's a nice sharp turn. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna hover across both lanes until we see cars like that. Until we see cars coming. It looks like it's working. It's just we're not getting the full map view. Some of it's all blotched out. Temperature's still hovering at 33 degrees, you guys. This is where we're at right now. I think the GPS map is showing you guys that as well. Not the exact picture, but I think it's showing you the, pretty much the same thing. Uh, this little hillside blocked a little bit of the fog, but not for long. I was expecting a left turn right there, so that kind of caught me off guard. Oh my gosh, here's a right turn. <laughs> Forget it, we're gonna put these back on and just deal with it. I want you guys to see how bad it is for me. No, this a car coming, I gotta turn it off. got around that little bend right there so we're gonna be really hitting the, the, the heavy clouds again as you can see yes the GPS is working again yay 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 we're gonna be having so much fun in this weather right now it's a little scary but it's still fun And later on we will do a drive on the other side of Big Bear Valley and catch like fawn skin and that side of the lake.
my god. Whoa, see that? I almost went to the left and the road goes to the right. Super cool. Oh, oh, oh. We're still hovering at 33 degrees, you guys. Everyone coming at me like sees me with my brights on and obviously I turn them off so, I, so, so I'm not shining my brights at them. But they're probably wondering like, what kind of an idiot is that? Who does that? That's probably what they're asking themselves. Who freaking does that, guys? Like, who really does that? If it makes you happy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Cause today it's snowing good in my head. I'm so lucky. That's okay. It's okay. In the days since I found God. If I didn't have a wife to support now, I would play music just like I I did in the past for many years in the background because I didn't care about any copyright stuff. But like some months I do make like a, a couple hundred bucks. It's only about four months out of the year and it, it, it started last year. But that's why I don't play any more music anymore because you know, it's not all about me anymore. And I have to do what I can to support my wife. Yeah, $260 is not that much money. One month though, it was like $390 just from making videos like for this, this instantly deposited into my bank account. But yeah, I'm very, very grateful. And I want to take care of, of, of my wife. And that's why I don't play music anymore. My goodness, this is crazy. We're at Stanfield Cutoff now. Gosh, I'm so glad I know this town that well that I don't even need need to look at the streets. In this hor horrible, horrible weather, I can I, I, I can do it all. All right, Stanford cut off. Let's take a look over to the right where the lake is. Yeah, let me look at the window. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That is so windy. <laughs> never mind. That's where the lake is, guys, to the right. Imagine being stuck on a little boat out there right now. That would be crazy. You can't see the stoplight up here, guys. And it's just right in front of us. Oh, there it is. Guys, February 21st, 2023. Oh, red light. Red light, green light. Grocery stores right here. Here's Stater Brothers. And there's Vaughn's. All right, guys, the storm has begun. Yes. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Please, please like and subscribe. Help me out. And I will talk to you guys soon. I'll be making another video very shortly because it's going to transition to all snow in an hour. So I'll be seeing you guys then. Take care and sayonara. Yoo-hoo!